Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Pathology Learning. I am Dr. Monica. In today's class, we will be seeing about nets under the inflammation chapter. So, nets are nothing but neutrophil extracellular traps. It is going to be one of the mechanisms by which the neutrophils kill the bacteria. But it is a type of extracellular killing rather than an intracellular killing. So, we have already seen about the mechanisms by which neutrophil kill the bacteria like NADPH oxidase which was the respiratory burst which was involved in phagocytosis and in intracellular killing. Other than that, we also saw about the various lysosomal enzymes present inside the uh, neutrophil granules. So, that was also one of the mechanism of killing. So, the third mechanism by which neutrophils kill is the nets or neutrophil extracellular traps. So, what are these neutrophil extracellular traps? These are nothing but extruded DNA material along with the cytoplasmic and the granular content of the neutrophil into the extracellular environment. So, basically the uh, DNA content that is the chromatin of the neutrophil is going to be extruded into the extracellular environment and it is going to concentrate the cytoplasmic proteins and enzymatic granules of the neutrophils. So, this forms a web-like structure. So, as seen in this diagram, you can see this part is the neutrophil which is extruding its DNA material here along with the granules. So, this is the bacteria which are going to be uh, trapped by this neutrophil extracellular traps. So, what is the function of this neutrophil extracellular traps? So, firstly it is going to form a trap so that it is going to contain the spread of the infection. So, it is a phase physical barrier in the first place. Secondly, I already mentioned it has concentrated uh, enzymatic granules in this nets. So, those granules we already saw we had antimicrobial properties. So, they, those are going to be present on a high con concentration in these nets and that is going to cause the killing of the uh, bac bacteria. So, both physical barrier and antimicrobial action is the main function of nets. So, what is the structure of these nets? It is just a filamentous web like structure here. So, this blue color is the uh, DNA uh, uh, chromatin which is being present. On this we can see this red color thing which are the granules. So, the granules, what are the neutrophil granules usually? So, MPOs, neutrophil elastase, catepsin Gs, defensins and lysozymes like other various enzymes we had already seen. No? So, those granule contents are going to be concentrated on this nets. So, what is the type of, what is the type of killing uh, involved in nets? It is extracellular killing. So, moving on, how do these neutrophil extracellular traps form? So, initially the bacteria is going to interact with the uh, toll like receptor. So, that will lead to the activation of this neutrophils. So, what happens when neutrophils get activated? It will lead to the formation of this NADPH oxidase complex and that will result in the formation of reactive oxygen species like HOCl right that we had already seen. So, when this reactive oxygen species are formed they degranulate the lysosomal enzymes. So, this degranulated lysosome enzymes which are basically MPO neutrophil elastase they enter into the nucleus and they cause the chromatin decondensation ok. Simultaneously, when the neutrophils are getting activated, there will be activation of another enzyme called as PAD4. So, PAD4 is nothing but peptidyl arginine deaminase enzyme. So, this PAD4 is going to again enter into the nucleus and that will cause the citrullination of the histone proteins. So, histones are going to be present on the DNA. So, the arginine red residues present on the histone proteins will be converted into citrulline proteins by the help of this enzyme PAD4. So, this again is going to happen inside the nucleus. So, two things will happen. Firstly, there will be this chromatin decondensation and the next second thing will be histone citrullination. So, these two things happen inside the nucleus and this will in turn lead to the nuclear membrane to break. So, when the nuclear membrane breaks, this nuclear material comes out into the cytoplasm. Again, the enzymatic granules and the cytoplasmic proteins all form a complex in this and then they get extruded from the uh, cell. So, uh, they break the plasma membrane and then they enter into the extracellular environment. So, this process of formation of nets is called as netosis. Okay. So, netosis is nothing but the formation of this nets. So, this is an immunofluorescence image of this nets. So, this green color cell is a neutrophil which has extruded this 
nuclear material so this orange material is the nuclear material along with the granular content so it is kind of granular appearance right so this is an image of nets so remember this image it can come as an image based questions in one of the exams so the second image is the uh, electron microscopic image of nets here again these round cells are the neutrophils while these web like structures which has this granular appearance no so these are the nets so moving on nets we had already seen it is involved in the in extracellular killing of the bacteria other than that nets have been implicated in certain disease pathogenesis as well especially it acts as a double edged sword okay so uh, since the nuclear material is being exposed to the external environment now this nuclear antigens can act as self antigens and it can trigger certain autoimmune diseases like sle and rheumatoid arthritis other than that nets have also been uh, seen to be involved in the pathogenesis of various diseases like atherosclerosis diabetes alzheimers sickle cell disease and even in cancer metastases till now we had seen about the function of neutrophil extracellular traps then their formation especially remember about histone citrullination and chromatin decondensation also uh, remember about the image based questions in nets so that's it for today's video see you in the next class if you like my content consider subscribing and sharing it to your friends who might also benefit from my video thank you